Yo yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist and if you keep up to date with Amsterdam on social media then you've probably heard some stuff recently about Amsterdam banning smoking bud outside. So today we're going to talk about that, we're going to go through some information on it, talk about my personal thoughts on it and then also have like a conclusion on how I think everything's actually going to go for the future. But for now we just have to have a message from our sponsor of the day, Too Loud Rolling Papers. Yo, Too Loud are some amazing rolling papers and you can get them on a subscription model so you can select how many you want per month and then every month they just arrive to your door so you have no more running out of papers trying to go to the shop at like one in the morning. No, you'll just have all the rolling papers you need for your month sat there. And Too Loud Rolling Papers is a small UK owned business so showing them support really does mean a lot and uh yeah big love to all you guys and big up too loud let's get into this video all right so Amsterdam they're constantly saying they're gonna try and ban this and they're gonna stop people smoking here and they're gonna get rid of coffee shops and all this right and for the most part most of it is obviously never gonna happen right but recently they have just announced that they're gonna ban smoking outside on three main streets, these three main streets, right? Uh, you might notice that there's actually more than three streets. It's actually like six streets, um, depending on whether you count the really tiny streets, but it's still a really, really, really small area. And there's one kind of problem with this, which I've had in my head, which is a very big main problem, right? Which is that smoking already isn't allowed outside in Amsterdam. You're not supposed to smoke outside in Amsterdam. Uh, like already like I get that people do um, But you already aren't supposed to be able to so I don't really see what banning smoking outside is really supposed to change Right, but if you've been to Amsterdam before you've probably already seen these signs But if you haven't been basically they have these signs everywhere right which say don't drink alcohol on like these specific streets I'm assuming they're just gonna do the same thing but with bud but again I don't really see it changing too much now you also might be thinking Oh, how come Amsterdam is trying to ban smoking outside? What's going on here? Well, it's a bit confusing, to be honest, because you see these three streets where they're banning smoking, right? Uh, yeah, this is the red light district, right? And the reason behind banning smoking outside, I shit you not, <laughs> is the council said it can get very grim. Excuse me? The smoking weed in the red light district is the thing that gets grim. Not the fact there's literal people selling themselves in the windows. Going, way, come here, you wanna, boom, 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 you wanna come here, way. Another main point is that, yeah, okay, smelling like weed, you might think, oh, the smell of weed, like, oh, it does get a bit too much sometimes, but. Would you rather smell weed or the fluids that you will smell from the red light district? Hmm. Hmm. So that's one of the main reasons why they're saying they're doing it. And uh, the second reason, which is like one of the main reasons why they're saying they're doing it is because of over tourism and that the locals are starting to complain about stuff. And I don't really see this point either. It just seems completely just not true. Like Amsterdam has been the way it is since like 1985. We're currently in 2023, all right? I can pretty much guarantee you that everyone who lives in Amsterdam lives in Amsterdam because Amsterdam is the way it is. I very much doubt you have anyone living in Amsterdam, especially on these three main streets, where they're like, oh, I want them to get rid of this weed, uh, you know? Like... <laughs> That just makes no sense in my mind. So you also might be thinking, is this a thing that's going to be happening like right now? Has it already happened? What's going on? When's this going to happen? So this is planning on happening in mid-May, all right? So there's still some time to smoke outside, even though you're not really supposed to smoke outside anyway, like according to the books. But And at the same time, I say you're not supposed to smoke outside. But like if you had a doobie in your mouth and you're in Amsterdam and you walk up to a police officer and you go, hey, excuse me, do you know the way to Central Station? The police officer is going to go, uh, it's up here and to the right and to the left, you know? I don't know. It's just a bit of an iffy one because is it going to be enforced? Is it not? I don't really know. And then there's still a part of me that then just thinks this is probably just the same as all the other things that they put out every year, right? Like, you know how I mentioned, you know, briefly during the beginning of this, that Amsterdam is constantly saying like, oh, we're going to ban tourists from buying bud and we're going to ban coffee shops, right? You know the reason they do that? Because obviously they, they aren't going to ban tourists from buying bud. They aren't going to ban coffee shops. That makes no sense. They would lose all of their money. They would lose all of their tourists. They're also putting loads of money into getting legal grows, right? 
right now. So that's obviously never going to happen, right? But the reason they say this stuff and the reason they get it out there is because the headline of the article says Amsterdam to ban weed. And then all the like, say, idiot British people or the, you know, the party heads and all that who are like with their mates go, oh, you see this, boys? Amsterdam, they're getting rid of weed, bruv. Oh, we can't go smoke weed in Amsterdam no more. Shit, boys. You know where we gotta go? Let's go, Maggers! Yeah, way, Maggers! And they don't end up going to Amsterdam, right? And that's kind of why they release these articles, because the more people they can, you know, get with these headlines, you know, the people they don't want over there, the people causing the issues, the people shouting, the people yelling, the more of those people see the articles and then just assume, oh, I can't go Amsterdam anymore, um, then the, the better, really, because all the smart people will actually realise, oh, uh, I can still go to Amsterdam because this hasn't happened. And to be honest, I kind of see this in the same way. Because even with these articles up on my screen right now, yeah? You know what it says in the top of the tab? It says Amsterdam to ban cannabis. Amsterdam plan to clean up the red light district by banning smoking. You know, it's like really out there headlines that to anyone who doesn't really read into it, would just automatically think, oh, they're banning weed, man. Oh, I can't go to the red light district, get a chick, and then smoke a doobie afterwards. Damn. You know, I just honestly don't really see this becoming a thing. Maybe mid-May comes around and they actually do put up some of the signs that say no smoking here, right? But I, I think that's probably going to be about it if anything if that even happens because like i said you're not even supposed to smoke outside now anyway and it's not enforced very well so that's my main thoughts on the amsterdam banning smoking outside type situation if there's any more information that comes out i'll try and get it out here i know almost every single article i was looking into just to make sure i didn't miss anything for this video doesn't even have this photo of the streets where they're gonna ban the smoking they're just putting out these articles like oh, i'm saying i'm gonna ban smoking outside um uh, without mentioning that it's like literally just these three tiny streets you know um very strange but either way i want to know your thoughts in the comments down below and um, yeah, that'd be pretty sick. I'm going to be live streaming later on today at 9 p.m. over on Twitch. The link for that will be in the pinned comment down below. And while you're in that pinned comment down below, follow my Instagram. I'm trying to get to 100k followers. I'm at like 80k right now. So that'd be sick. Have a good one, people. See you on Twitch later. Peace.